Pride flags were the topic of conversation at last week's North Hill Neighborhood Council meeting. According to the neighborhood chair, some businesses in the Garland District are opposed to displaying flags for Pride Month. Crim News' Janelle Finch tells us how the neighborhood was able to find a compromise. The North Hill neighborhood voted in favor of putting pride flags on at most seven of these poles in the Garland District. Businesses also have a choice to opt out. Businesses don't have to wait until June to promote Garland Pride or Pride themed pub crawls. But next month, the North Hill neighborhood chair says the Garland District <laughs> is organizing a neighborhood wide display of pride. Rainbow flags on a Vista owned street lamps. It's about seven poles in total. Uh, from about here, actually, all the way down uh, to about the Garland Brewery. Scott Webb says the council approved the idea in April. At the May meeting, he says businesses wanted to reopen the conversation. We did vote as a community, including with the business owners in May, uh, to pass the motion as we did in April uh, with the amendment. If anybody didn't want the flag directly in front of their business, uh, we would honor that decision. Webb says some of the businesses not in favor say they're worried about the flags affecting foot traffic. They believe that the idea is too divisive. Um, some of them are concerned about the foot traffic into their businesses that by us displaying the flags um, could have a negative effect on their customer base to come into the neighborhood. One business owner says he's already planning to not have a flag on the pole outside his door. Another business owner says he doesn't mind either way. Webb says he wants everyone to feel respected. Whether what side are you on, we want to make sure that everybody has a right to be supported in, in our neighborhood. If a business does or does not want a flag displayed outside of its business, neighborhood chair Scott Webb says the owner should email him and he'll forward that message to Avista. From the Garland District, Janelle Finch, Crime 2 News.